Hello friends, Uma here and today I'll be teaching you how to make your own handmade flower using mudra dies. So this is the flower which I'll be teaching. Today we will be using this gardenia dye from mudra and creating our own flower. So you can see this is the card in which I have used the flower. in which I have used my handmade flower so today we will be using this dye from mudra so the tutorial of this flower is already posted on the blog so you can check out that so let's get started so I have taken 230 gsm iris paper and have pre-cut 5 petals using the die cut I have cut all the petals in equal sizes and have used this die. So we will be creating this flower today. For making the flower we need 4 layers and 1 layer for sepal. So to color flower I am using my distress ink and dauber. The distress ink is in color candied apple. So I'll just apply the distress ink onto the middle part of the petal. Make sure you're applying good amount of distress ink as you're just applying in the middle part. To shape the flower, I'll be using brad and all to that, I'll be layering all my petals and just giving up the shape. So we are doing this step just to give shape to a flower. Now I am just misting water. As you know distress ink reacts to water. So it will just give a nice color texture. Now I'm just folding the flower into the center and just pressing it hard to give it a natural shape. Now I'm just again misting water as the second layer has come and just clearing it on the first layer. Just make sure you're pressing the flower very well so that it automatically takes shape. Repeat this process until all the layers are completed. completed just let the flower settle down so that it gets well shaped so this is how our flower currently looks like next we gonna need the flower center so you can see this is ready with me and now I'll be just clearing it now I'm just unwrapping the flower just unwrap the flower very softly so that the natural shape which it has taken doesn't go away. And now just remove the brad. I thought to give a little more shape so just pinching the petals a little bit. Now just grab your center apply your adhesive and just start layering it so i'm just applying the first layer of the flower so when you're completed with the first layer just apply a little adhesive onto the lower part of the first layer and just apply the second layer alternatively onto the first layer. Just make sure you're applying all the layers alternatively as it gives a natural look to the flower. And now just keep on layering the flower with the third and the fourth layer.
the petals just give the flower a little shape so i'm just taking the fifth petal and just trimming it onto the edges to make the sepal what i loved about this die is that you don't need to create sepal with different die cut you just need this die and you just trim off the edges and your sepal is ready color olive just coloring the sepal onto the both sides make sure you are coloring on the both sides very nicely as you can see i'm done coloring the sepal now i'll just spritz water onto the both side of the sepal I'm turning and twisting the sepal so that it looks more realistic. After you're done twisting, just reopen the sepal and you can see it has got some natural shape. After this, just twist on the edges of the sepal so that it looks more real. And now just add on the sepal onto the flower and apply a little adhesive. And that's it. Your flower is ready. You can see I have used multiple of the flowers in this card of different sizes. So you can easily create these flowers and these are so easy to be made. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching.